In Map, short for Network Mapper, is a free tool created by Gordon Lyon, known as Fyodor, to scan IP addresses and ports in a network. It helps network administrators identify devices, find open ports and services, and spot vulnerabilities. Its popularity has even landed at roles in movies like The Matrix and TV shows like Mr. Robot. Hackers prefer InMap over other scanning tools for several reasons. InMap simplifies network mapping without requiring complex commands or setups. It supports both basic commands, like checking if a host is up, and advanced scripting through its InMap scripting engine. It swiftly identifies all devices on a network, from servers to mobile devices, across single or multiple networks. Let's look at some InMap commands. If you're using Linux, it's already installed, but if you don't have InMap installed, you can get it from here. Let's start off with the basics. Network mapping starts with scanning for active devices on a network using two types of scans. First, we have the ping scan. This scan detects devices that are up and running on a specific subnet. The dash SP option instructs InMap to perform a ping scan, which sends ICMP echo requests to each IP address in the specified range and listens for responses. Next, we have single host scan, which examines a single host for 1,000 well-known ports, commonly used by popular services like SQL, SNTP, and Apache. This command scans a single host for well-known ports commonly used by various services. InMap will probe the target host to determine which services are running and accessible on the specified ports. Scammy.inmap.org is a public service provided by the InMap project for testing and demonstration purposes. It's configured to allow scanning and doesn't violate any terms of service. These scans are essential initial steps in network mapping. Stealth scanning sends SYN packets to check if ports are open without completing the full handshake, making it hard for targets to detect. Use nmap-ss for this. It's slower and less aggressive, so expect delays in responses. Finding application versions is a crucial part in penetration testing. Doing a version scan with nmap, nmap-sv, helps find vulnerabilities in services by matching their versions with entries in the common vulnerabilities and exploits database. You can then exploit these vulnerabilities using tools like Metasploit. Keep in mind that version scans aren't always perfect, but they're a step towards breaching a system. With OS scanning, InMap goes beyond identifying services and their versions. It employs TCP, IP fingerprinting to uncover information about the underlying operating system and even tries to determine system uptime. You can enhance OS scanning with additional flags like OS scan limit to narrow down the search. InMap provides confidence percentages for each OS guess. While OS detection isn't foolproof, it significantly aids penetration testers in narrowing down their targets. Aggressive scanning in InMap is a powerful mode that includes OS detection, version detection, script scanning, and traceroute. You can activate it using the dash A argument. While aggressive scans offer more detailed information than regular ones, they also send out more probes, making them easier to detect during security audits. InMap has the capability of scanning multiple hosts simultaneously. This feature comes in real handy when you are managing vast network infrastructure. You can scan multiple hosts through numerous approaches. One approach involves listing all the device addresses in one line and InMap will check them all together, like this. You can also use an asterisk to check a whole group of devices at once. If you want to check just a few specific devices, you can separate their addresses with commas, like this, or you can check a range of addresses by using a hyphen. Port scanning is one of the most fundamental features of nmap. You can scan for ports in several ways, using the dash p parameter to scan for a single port. If you want to scan for specific types of ports, like TCP ports, you can specify that, for example. You can scan for information about a particular type of connection, for example, for a TCP connection. To scan a range of ports, just separate the first and last port numbers with a hyphen. You can also use the double dash top ports flag to scan for the most common ports, like the top 10, on a target. Scanning a bunch of IP addresses is easy with nmap. If you have a long list of IPs in a file, you can scan them all by using a command like this. This command reads the list of IP addresses from the file input ips.txt and scans each one. You can also add more options and flags to customize your scan as needed. When you're doing penetration testing, it can take a while. 
sometimes even days or weeks. To make things easier and avoid repeating work, you can export the results of your nmap scans. Here are some ways to do it. Running nmap-v provides verbose output, giving detailed information about each step of the scan process. This can be particularly helpful for closely monitoring nmap's actions, especially when scanning a client's network as an outsider. You can export nmap scan results to a text file using the dash -on option, like this. This command saves the scan results to a file named output.txt in a format slightly different from the original command line output, but it includes all the important information from the scan. And map scans can also be saved in XML format, which is preferred by many penetration testing tools. This format makes it easy to parse and import scan results. You can do this by running the command map-oxoutput.xml. This command saves the scan results to a file named output.xml in XML format, suitable for further analysis and integration with other tools. You can export scan results in multiple formats simultaneously using the dash OA command. For example, this command will generate three files with the prefix output, output.xml, output.nmap, and output.gnmap, each containing the scan results in different formats. Nmap offers a built-in help command to display all available flags and options. This is particularly useful due to the extensive range of command line arguments Nmap supports. You can access the help by running Nmap-h. This command will provide a comprehensive list of flags and options, helping you better understand and utilize Nmap's capabilities. The Nmap scripting engine NSE is a powerful tool that allows you to automate various networking tasks by writing scripts. You can use pre-existing scripts provided with Nmap or create your own to suit your specific needs. NSE scripts can be written or modified using the Lua programming language, offering flexibility and customization options. Additionally, NSE includes attack scripts designed for network penetration testing and exploiting vulnerabilities in networking protocols. ZenMap is a graphical interface that makes using Nmap easier. It's free and open source, offering visual representations of network maps and allowing you to save and search your scans. This tool is especially helpful for beginners who may find the command line interface of Nmap daunting. With ZenMap, you can explore Nmap's capabilities without needing to deal with complex commands. So, you might be wondering, is Nmap for me? The answer is yes. Whether you're a hacker or simply want to take control of your home network, Nmap can be a valuable tool. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.